am Lois. And I'm Emjem. So we've been living together for a year and a half and we've had our fair share of absolute disasters when it comes to the male species, love and relationships. You name it and one of us has probably experienced it. So if you want to hear about some hilarious sex stories, failed situationships with a dash of heated debate, welcome, welcome to, to the, the Hope Face! face. Ew. Everybody. Welcome back. Episode two. Episode two, baby. Slay. Slay in the doorway. Look at us. I know, we've got mics now. Who'd have thought it? Checking one, two, three. <laughs> Hilarious. I know, I don't really think we are. What's been going on? What's been going on? We went for Sunday dinner today. We went to my nana's for Which Sunday dinner. Which was so good. I work normally on a Sunday. So this is the first time I've been in months. Yeah. And girl, it was needed. I felt fulfilled yeah. after it. I Lovely. demolished my dinner so You literally quick. ate it within like five minutes. I was You're like, we hungry, love. I was starving. <laughs> so, I love that. Yeah. But it's been a nice day, hasn't it? It has, yes. Came home, got ready. Yeah. You washed the pots. I did. Domesticated housewife, me. <laughs> Wife me up. We've been told to stop with the arms. My dad, <laughs> my dad came to my nana's late and he was like, I listened to your podcast. Which is just hilarious. Which is funny because my dad doesn't listen to anything. No. But he's like our number one fan, so... He was like, Hi, you just Anthony. need to, you need to stop with the erms and the pauses. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry. We're very new to this. <laughs> <laughs> we treat it as if we're just having, having a, conversation. a conversation. And to be quite honest, we, we watched back that podcast and both of us were like, didn't realise we did that. Didn't no. realise we did this. No. Nope. So yeah, little habits. That... We repeat things to each other, don't we? So if I'm <laughs> like, when Emma last week was saying, mere pennies, and I went, Pennies, and she goes, pennies. pennies. Like it's just a thing we do. You know when you find something funny, it's just we like to hype each other up in that way. Yeah, we do. Like that was funny. That is what you just said there. Pennies. What pennies. did what did I say the other day? When when we were at Mum and Paul's, and oh, yeah. Paul was on about somebody that he works with, and he had an eccentric beard, and he showed us a picture of this beard, and I said, "That's not eccentric. That's ginger." <laughs> and she was crying. <laughs> It really made me laugh because Paul was literally like, he was like, he's got a bit of an, he's trying to be a bit eccentric with his beard. And then you were like, that's, that's not eccentric. You know, when somebody describes something as eccentric, I you thought think it was going like, to be like down here. Like plaited yes. with some beads in it. No, no, no. This man just had a beard. It was it a just ginger so beard. That it was ginger. And I was like, I don't know what you're trying to get at. <laughs> as a fellow ginger. As a fellow ginger. I was like, it's, it's not no special. Um, you wanted to talk about the film that has taken the world by storm. Saltburn. If you've not watched it, where have you been? What are you doing? It's Get it watched. It's the best film I've ever seen. It's a good film. It's a very good film. The best film I've ever seen. I mean, it's good. But I think because of how fucked up it is, I'm just like... But I love what? fucked up shit. But it, I, it's like, it's brilliant. It's so clever. And, you know, Emerald Fe- Is it Emerald Fennel? Emerald Fennel. Fennel. Mm-hmm. Emerald Fennel. She is an absolute genius. My new manager at work. Yeah. Found the runny egg scene and the scene where they're singing happy birthday to him mm-hmm. more awkward and uncomfortable yes. than the visceral scenes. Yes. And I said, I was like, that says more about you as a person, though. Yeah. Because for me, stuff like... I'm not a prude in any way, shape, or form, but conversations like that cringe me out mm-hmm. when I'm not with, say, you or my Bruno. The bath the bath scene really got me, didn't it? I literally yeah. was like... I, it, was the, it wasn't gipping. exactly the, the visual of it. It was the noise. And it wasn't even the fact that it was a... a spoiler. <laughs> gonna say. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. It wasn't even the fact that it was a cum-filled bath. It was the fact that that is dirty bath Dead water. Skin. Dead skin. And the lime skin, our friend the that we were watching skin. the film with, was like, the lime scale! <laughs> the lime scale! <laughs> from, from the plug. 
oh the dharma netflix series yes there's a there's a scene again spoiler but if you've not watched it where have you been been? there's a blood bag scene and i i was nearly sick wasn't i yeah you were i'm normally so fine with stuff like that but that scene took me straight back to that and i was like oh mm-hmm. this uh, even now it's making me on uh, the back of us watching Saltburn and telling people to watch it you got told a <gasps> film that we watched the other day now this is the worst film i have ever watched in my life i'm really good with horror films i'm really good with gore yeah. i binged watch the saw films because i love them yeah this was the worst like it, yeah gore horror just one of the worst films i've ever seen but at the same time like a very interesting story when i tell you that these two films they are not they are not in the same ballpark no not at all But because i was telling them about how like you know we've been saying to people haven't we we can't tell you what salt burns about because it just spoils the whole film yeah so they were asking me what it was about and i was like it's just fucked like it's psychologically a fucked film and he was like, oh, if you're into that sort of stuff, watch The Hills Have Eyes. And I was like, oh, okay, well, what's it about? And he was like, again, that'd be spoiling it. I was like, okay, fine. But this is the worst film I've ever seen in my life. I will not, I don't watch it. You Just know, don't watch it. You know what shocked me the most about it? The fact that Carter from A Cinderella Story is oh, in yeah. it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. He was the only person that I knew in, in that it. film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's awful. It's horrendous. Apparently there's think, about seven of them. Yeah, don't, when don't you think it. like, oh, it can't get any worse than this, it gets worse. Yeah. I was left speechless from Saltburn for a completely different way as to why yes. I was left speechless at The Hills Have Eyes. They're completely different films. I, I highly recommend Saltburn. So, today's Alexa Careless Whisper topic is porn. How do we feel about porn. it? Do we do we watch? Do we? How do we feel about the partner watching? What is your opinion on the porn world? <laughs> is that the right I way? respect the porn world. Yeah. When both parties are being paid and treated equally. Yes. How do you feel about your significant other watching it? Don't bother me. Don't bother you? No. No. Maybe because I don't have a significant other, Mm. I might feel a little bit different Mm. if they were doing it all the time. Yeah. I only recently, in the last few years, have actually started watching it. Like, I never watched it before. Yeah, we've had this conversation before, haven't we? I mean, (laughs) to get into my home phase, I always thought, I don't need to watch porn. I'll just go, I'll just text someone. <laughs> I'd also never... I know where you're going. Never self-pleasured myself before COVID either. I can't believe that. I just, again, I didn't need to. Like, when you say it out loud, it sounds awful. Like, what do you mean you never had to... Your gal was a hoe, guys. <laughs> like, <laughs> I wrote the book for the generations to, to read. I am... Mm. I, um... Yes. <laughs> Slay. Slay. Porn. Tick. <laughs> So, the first story we have from our listener, her name is Emily. Hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. I was talking to this guy for the whole of first year at uni, but we never got round to actually meeting up because I was on and off with my situationship, who was a bit possessive, shall we say. I know who this is about. (laughs) (laughs) One night, I see him in the SU, and he asks if I want to come back with him. Is this the guy that she's been speaking to, not the possessive one? Yes. Obviously, I was in my hoe phase, so I said yes, because I had wanted this guy for a year. We get back, do the deed, and fall asleep. I wake up all happy thinking that this now means we will be dating of some form, but he turns to me and says, you're going to have to leave, my girlfriend is coming over. Oh, God! Oh, you'd just die, wouldn't you? I think... Do you know what I think it is? It's it's like this Kevin has obviously been speaking to this Emily. Mm-hmm. Emily has been un like unbeknownst to her, Kevin has a girlfriend. 
That means that Kevin doesn't post said girlfriend on the socials. No. Because why on earth would Emily still be talking to him? Exactly. That's all on him. I scramble around the room looking for all my stuff and leave. The next week, his girlfriend comes to me calling me all the names and I obviously just said to her, blame your boyfriend, not me. I had no idea you existed. Duh, yeah. Like, that annoys me as well. Like, why is the girl going to have a go at the girl? It's not the girl's girl's fault. Don't be greedy. You've got a girlfriend. If you don't like your girlfriend anymore, break up. Some men can't be alone. I've learned this. Yeah. We, We have seen it with you, with our friends, the crossovers that happen, why? What? It, they they can't be alone. I, it's it's mental. Yeah. Thing is with like, especially with our group of friends, like our girls, mm. we've all come out of relationships and stayed single. Yeah. The boys, however, mm. have not. They've no. gone straight into a new relationship. Yeah. How are you supposed to heal? Exactly. They say that girls feel the grief straight away Mm -hmm. whereas boys it'll take them like three months so if you go from one relationship to the next relationship you're gonna get three months into that next relationship and go oh shit yeah i am that's when the crap start to show yeah that was the end of that story thank you very much emily okay so this one is a bit hard to read okay because it's a lot of dialogue So, the gist of the story was, as soon as I became single, a guy I went to school with messaged me as soon as he saw that I was single. Right. That should have been my first red flag. Mm. He asked to go on a walk. We went on said walk. We got on nice. Stayed up till silly hours in the morning talking. Invited him back to mine. More talking. Went upstairs. Had some fun, but did not have any Alexa Play Careless Whisper. So, we had the foreplay. Yes. The little tease. The taster. Yeah. Of the full the full shebang. But no actual. But no full shebang. No full shebang. No. Not this time. Organised, seeing each other again, came round, ordered food, did bits again. This time it was, you know, time of the month. Oh, okay. She was riding the crimson wave. Oh! <laughs> I've never heard that. <laughs> riding the crimson I've wave! I've never heard that. No! no. <laughs> That is hilarious. Have you never watched Clueless? I didn't know that that was what it meant. <laughs> when she goes, I was riding the crimson way and I had to haul ass to the ladies. I didn't know that that's what that meant. That's hilarious. <laughs> she was riding she the was crimson wave. She was riding the wave. crimson wave. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay. That went well. We spoke about what was going on and what we both wanted. We said we'd stay as we are, keep it casual, as we were both newly-ish single. Right. At this point, sexual tensions were high. The foreplay was good. Let's face it, we both wanted sex the next time. (laughs) Well, what an anticlimax. Oh, no. Let's just say the foreplay was better, but I thought I'd give him another chance. It could just be nerves. Fair. First time nerves. We arranged to see each other again. It had become a regular Friday night thing. We'd agreed. We both enjoyed spending time together, chilling, watching films, getting food, etc. Still Mm. keeping it casual. Mm. Well, it came to the next Friday evening and he came over. (laughs) What he said just proves that men, some men, are stupid. Well, men are from Mars. And women are from Venus. Isn't that in in a song? A what? Is it in a song? (laughs) isn't it in a song it's a book oh is it a book yes oh. <laughs> oh, okay. you know what i thought you said what is it not in a son and i was like a son what's, what's a, a song? song because i thought you meant a sonnet <laughs> like a poem like a shakespeare yeah and i was like where are you going with this <laughs> in in hamlet <clears throat> men are from minas minas <laughs> minas <laughs> What is wrong with you today? <laughs> Men are from Mars. Women are from Venus. Venus. To be or not, not to, to be. be. That, that is, is the question. question. Goodbye, Aragorn. <laughs> He 
comes in. Hey. Yep. Hiya. I haven't got long. <laughs> Pardon? What? I've... What? Wait. He comes in yeah. to her house yeah. and says, hey, I haven't got long. Right. So her face just drops. Yeah. And says, right, you do know you don't have to be here. If you're busy, we can do another day. Yeah. His reply I wanted to get a banging in first, then I can go. Oh, my. The audacity. What the fuck? You must think he's fucking God's gift. Yeah. And she said he weren't even that good. I knew we were casual, but some things you just say in your head and not out loud. Not even in your head? Like, no. What? what? My jaw instantly dropped. He Obviously. was like, what's up? And I said, I think you should go. He was in the house for 10 minutes. Boy, bye. Never spoke again. Fucking slay. Um, she goes on to say, to be honest, it was a great feeling kicking someone out. Yeah. Respecting my body and saying, no, you're all right. She also went on to say, ladies, you have needs. You can shag around and do you. Mm. But we also have to have respect for ourselves and know our worth. Preach it. She also said, also, he wore socks when having sex. That's a whole other reason I should have left him after the first time we slept together. <laughs> I've I've definitely worn socks mo- on more than one occasion I because have like too. when you're in the flow of it, you get, you're you get ripping sex, the clothes sexy off, sexy undressing, and then you're like in in position. I've about still got to, socks on. I've still got socks on, and you're like just just carry on, it's fine. And I like, like my feet to be toasty, toasty mm-hmm. toes, toasty toes. Okay, so my opinion on that is there's a difference between being casual. And being friends with Ben, like whatever situation you are in, you've got to have respect for each other. You need to be respectful. That is not that. I I am sorry, all Brunos and Kevins, do not just turn up to your Emily or Louise's house and go. I haven't got long. Come on, let's get to it, love. Like, well, pardon. I'd like to have a conversation first. I'd like to say hello. How are you? We all know why you're round. You know, like if you're casual. And your friends with benefits, you know why you're going round. You know it's going to get there you eventually. You know it's going to get there eventually. <laughs> but don't fucking turn up and go, yeah, come on then, love, let's go. But how, how do you know? I might not be in the mood right there, right then. I might need a couple of smooches. I, I might need, need a cheeky get, fondle. I, I need, need to get a little bit of talking in. I need to get myself in the zone. I might need some, like, TLC in terms I need of some sweet get me nothings. a drink. Yeah, get me a drink. Get me a sweet treat. <laughs> Say them sweet nothings to me, stick a film on, and then let's get round to it. If you haven't got time for that, bye bye, see you later. Don't come round. There's no point. You've you've just shot yourself in the foot there, mate. Mike. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> you just shot yourself in the foot there because now she's never gonna speak to you again and you've lost a golden girl. Your fault. Who is cracking in bed? Yeah. Your fault, because you keep going back to her. She's all right without you. Mm-hmm. You evidently aren't because you had to come round in that spare half an hour that you had. Fuck off. Yeah, not not the one. You're doing better not. without him, girl. Yeah, you don't need that fucking Kevin. Stupid prick. Sorry. <laughs> Stupid prick. <laughs> okay, I get it. Best of it is my turn. I Go don't. I really, really, really wish I knew that song. It's bedrock. No, but I don't know the words to it. But I keep saying it. Okay, I get it. Let me think I guess it's my turn. Oh, let me think I guess it's my turn. Yes. Okay. I'm going to learn that for next week. Okay, I get it. Let me think I guess it's my my turn. turn. Okay, right. Next. My ex is being cheated on by the girl he cheated on me with. Karma is my boyfriend. (laughs) Okay. I love karma. For context, my ex and I were together for around three years and he randomly broke up with me one day. I didn't understand why. Until he got with a girl he works with. Oh, haven't we been there before? Oh, that's very Very familiar. familiar. (laughs) Um, This was around two weeks after he broke up with me, so I knew there was some sort of cheating going on. However, I've recently found out that his new girlfriend is still texting her ex. Oh. So he cheated on me, and left me for a girl who is cheating on him. Like I said earlier, Kama, Kama is my boyfriend. <laughs> Girl, like quite literally, Karma. Literally Karma. Karma. Yeah. Um, she's also put at the end, which is. <laughs> I have also seen a video of her ramming a hairbrush up her fanny. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
<laughs> Good for her. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> Oh but, god, um, imagine seeing that and knowing that your ex is shagging that. Oh yeah, I mean every school had that girl. Yeah, there was a pepperami girl at my school. And there was a toothbrush girl at mine. Oh. <laughs> Shoving a toothbrush up her. She had to leave school. She got expelled. I went to a Catholic school, so Oh. To start off with. Like <laughs> So um yeah. She got expelled. expelled. She got expelliarmus <laughs> from school. <laughs> Well, good luck to him. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. Now, both dicks. the final story is from a Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. It's not necessarily related to a hoe phase. It's just a hilarious story. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so. I'm ready. Here we go. On the first day of Freshers, we arrived and with the, within the first 20 minutes, I was nearly being sick because we all got fucked up before our dinner. I have a video of us at dinner and you basically falling asleep into your roast. That person falling asleep being me. <laughs> <laughs> um, then I met a girl in our halls named Louise. Me and Louise really got on and I spoke to her about a festival I went to in the summer and took copious amounts of MDMA. Got sent to the medical tent and called my mum crying my eyes out. To which she replied, I have some LSD we should try. <laughs> what? <laughs> me being me, I thought, yeah, sure, why not? New year, new me. Before I knew it, the walls were moving, the sky was caving in on me. Then we decided, yes, let's go join the others clubbing in the oh, SU. Good Lord. I saw a drunken disorderly MJ <laughs> shouting at a bouncer as she had been kicked out for having one too many VKs. At- why does that not surprise me? <laughs> at 10 o'clock at 10 o'clock <laughs> yeah like wait her and our best friend recognised me and said OMG Kevin come home with us to which I responded you're all fucking pink <laughs> and proceeded to say this because the only way I can explain it is that everyone looked like a pink umpa lumpa wow we then had dance streaming of course I woke up still tripping balls and convinced <laughs> that there was a fly infestation in our housemate's bedroom this caused me to miss streaming and stay at home. I slept it off and went out the next day. Completely fine. Slaying. How? I do not know. I would also but like But that to was know. my first night of freshers and first meeting of the iconic MGM. You are iconic. And I, so I, is this Kevin. Yeah, this Kevin's pretty cool too. I mean, I have never been into the drugs culture. Neither we don't I. have that friendship group. That- this town wasn't like that. No, not really. Now it more isn't. so. But I, as you get older you realise how many people do drugs. Yeah. And we're in the minority of people we really that are. actually don't. Alcohol is my drug. Al- alcohol. I'm high on life. But that's that's what I said to this Kevin. I was like, I don't know what I would be like if I, I ever did anything like know. that. Because when I'm drunk, I don't remember anything. I'm disorderly. Like, I black out. Like, I don't I don't need drugs. I've had to carry MGM home a couple of times. Many a time. She's whacked her head on the banister at my mum's house. Oh my God. That, that's a- have you done it twice? Yeah. Yeah, twice. <laughs> That's a story for another time. That is a great story. That's a teaser for next week. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so we've never been surrounded by that. That is the end of the listener story segment. It is indeed. What is your favourite memory of each other? Yes, okay. Um, And my memory is shocking yes yeah, so but mine. what i will say is that i will always remember the first time that we met yes and you said this as well didn't you yes like that first meeting which we put on our instagram today yes of the little picture of us when we were in our little dresses yeah and um, that's the first time that we met oh no, no not the first time that we met but it that's was the like first time the first we became time best friends we, yeah that was like the moment where i went yeah i'm i'm, I'm a I'm going to have you. I'm going to have you and I'm going to keep you. I'm going to have you and I'll keep you. Um, yeah, we were we... playing on our DSs in the um, road roadshow hall. It was so like it a was village like a hall, village yeah. hall that we were doing a roadshow on because how we met was singing together. Yes. We were singing partners and we did like a little cabaret group with two other boys. Yeah. And Emma had the biggest crush oh on one of the God, boys. Oh my God, I did. I'm not even ashamed. But yeah, that's like... 
for me, that's a core memory. Yeah. And I was talking to you about this the other day, wasn't I? Like yeah. things that, that really stick out to me that are 100% core memories. So that's one for me. Yeah. My, <laughs> my core memory with you is the time we almost got arrested. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's get into this. Okay. So abandoned places. We'd, we'd, we'd done them for a solid like year, hadn't we? We found mm-hmm. some really cool places. But this one was the last one that we went to. And it was an old grammar school. It was incredible. Absolutely incredible. The best one that like the best one that we'd ever done. Yeah. And I'm glad that it was the last one that we did as well. Yeah. We, <laughs> and, um, we were going to leave. Yeah. And I went to, so there was a little window that had been smashed in that we got in through. So we were like, okay, we can get out this way. Yeah. We were going to leave and a police officer in a high vis jacket and a security guard were walking up towards the window. I then panicked and went, Emma, it's the police. And we ran. We have been golden girls the entire way through. Like, yeah. Like never been in trouble. Strict parents. I think I've only ever been in trouble maybe once. Mm-hmm. And that was when I was like eight years old. And for us to get caught by the police at the big age of 21, like trespassing in an area that we're not from, the police officer was basically like, you two have come a bit far, haven't you? And we were like, like shit, like shaking, fully shaking. I was like, I was sweating. Yeah. Sweat. And then... um. We basically got let off with a warning and told if we come back to this area, we will be sent to the station. So we went, you will never see us again. Never see and us ever again. And that was the last time and we then did it. everything opened up and everything yeah. went back to normal, so. Yeah, it was, um, <laughs> yeah. Favourite memories was the question. They're, they're, they are top tier ones. Yes. Yeah. We've had some questions from a listener from TikTok. Have you ever been led on? Yes. To put it simply. I have. Yes. For two and a half years. As well, but your story's more interesting than mine, so go on. Met this particular Kevin in December 2020. When did it end? (laughs) May 2023. (laughs) Honestly. How many times did you block him between these three years? About four times. (laughs) How many times did you unblock him? Four Four times. times. (laughs) Idiots. Basically, this guy was just the worst kind of person you could ever have an attachment to. The rose tinted was really tinted. It was so tinted. This Bruno was toxic AF. He's, he was a Kevin. Oh, sorry, Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> <coughs> this Kevin, this Kevin was, was toxic. toxic. 2023 was probably like the worst year that we had. February, he invites me over at 3 a.m., when Emma's at work in the bar so I text her and I'm like Kevin's just invited me over I'm going over by the way hope you don't hate me and she's fuming I am fuming she's mega mega fucking fuming yes I even texted her being like you could at least take me home first (laughs) and I was like I was on my way to his house and I was like well I am driving past the bar I was like no it's fine don't worry I will see you in the morning she then turns up with a McDonald's breakfast. I did. I said, sorry. I did. I don't know why you were apologising to me, but anyway. I did feel bad because... <laughs> because of the fucking... I had to dig you out every fucking time he fucked you over. Yeah. <sighs> and anyway, was always the anyway, shoulder to cry on. I anyway. Was, I still am. Still am. Always will be. Anyway. Um. Yeah, so February, we slept together. Mm. blah de blah blah mm. You know, don't need the gruesome details. Mm-hmm. I don't hear from him mm. for about a month. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, fine, whatever. Don't care. Mm. I cared. Really? She really cared. Oh, I really, really fucking cared. cared. Um, April, you're in Thailand. Mm. Away. Le- I'm left to my own devices. Left fully to your own devices. Um, the day before I come back. The day before Emma comes back, I invite him over to my house and we get to it. He then left. When did he declare his love for you, basically, though? When was that? Oh, the February meeting. Was that the February meeting? Yeah. But I think he was on drugs. I mean... It makes sense. It does make sense. May bank holiday rolls around. I go out with some friends who know him. All friends are aware that we have been sleeping with each other. Mutual friend of ours asks us both when we're in the smoking area having a cuddle. So... Kevin 
when you're going to make Lois your girlfriend and he kicks off and runs away basically and then rings me like two days later and he's like we need to talk about that what what the fuck and I was like <laughs> not my not fault my, not my problem yeah. not my fucking problem um and then I message him like two days later after that being like is is everything okay mm. because me being me I care about everybody too much for my own liking and he's like yeah we're fine it's just not gonna go anywhere I'm not gonna pretend like I want a relationship with you anymore and I was like right cool great we've not spoken since the first month after that of like not speaking was hard Mm. it was really hard because i knew that we weren't in each other's lives anymore yeah he wasn't checking up on what i was doing on social media (sighs) good it was really hard no i know you never liked him but obviously i never liked him so it was hard it was bad vibes in every way looking back now cannot see what i saw in him Mm. like yeah he's good looking but what else did he bring to the table absolutely nothing that's what nothing boy bye current kevin way better looking yeah current kevin a lot nicer (laughs) oh he's lovely isn't he yeah a lot nicer he's lovely we have a couple of responses Mm -hmm. so we've got one that says that they, this person would invest in studio equipment and space to create work to make more money and book holidays. Nice. That sounds like a good plan. Mm-hmm. Another one we've got is get the fuck off this goddamn cursed ground <laughs> and go <laughs> swimming with pigs in the Bahamas. That oh, sounds I'd lovely. I'd love to do that. And I will happily join you. Another one do. we've got deposit on a house up north for sure. That's too adult for my liking. Up north, that's interesting because that person is from down south. Interesting. So I'd love to know why the the north north is better. Also had a response from a friend of mine said that they would absolutely just spend it to move off this country. Like, get out for good. Fair enough. Um, And then somebody else said that they would use it to treat their girls which is very nice. Oh, how lovely. Um, so that was the answers for the qu- from the question that we asked. We then asked one on our Instagram earlier on today, which we've had a couple of responses. <laughs> yes, we have. Um, yeah. So the question that we asked was any weird celebrity crushes? So we've got a Joseph Jordan Levitt. I don't know who that is. Joseph Gordon Levitt. Oh, a Joseph Gordon Levitt. I don't know who that is. From I supposed to know 10 Things I Hate About You. Oh, that's not weird. It's not weird. Interesting why this person thinks that's weird. Yeah. Um, Aaron Taylor Johnson, not weird. Not that's weird. really not weird. And Jeremy Allen White, absolutely not weird. Not weird. Have you seen the best? Have you seen, have you seen the Calvin Klein shoot? We've also had an Idris Elba. Oh, I love Idris Elba. Which is one of my relative's green cards. Love that. hilarious. We've also got an Oliver Wood from Harry Potter. Yeah, that is a bit weird. Again, I don't not see it though. I don't not see it, but it is a bit weird. Yeah. And then a Daniel Sloss. Who's Daniel Sloss? No idea. Google him. I'm on, I'm on Google. We've also had Alan Davies. Alan Davies is a good one. <laughs> because I, I, I understand know, it. I don't know who that is. Um, yes, you do. It's the dad from I? Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging. Oh, well, let me... With the again. lisp. <gasps> oh, Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you not see it? No. Oh, I do. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, him. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think that's a bit weird. Do you know who he looks like? The Kevin that you dated? Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, no, yeah. Oh, I can't unsee it. (laughs) This is funny. Alan Davies. Really? He's a bit of a dill. No. He's funny, though. I think that's Yeah, he is funny. My weird crush. Do I have one? I can, t- I can tell you my green cards. Go on. So my green cards are Orlando Bloom. Yeah. Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Yeah. And then it was Matteo Berrettini. But now it's Lucy Bronze. Fair enough. Now I, I do not like the poo nanny. I never have done. <laughs> I've, you know, we've all had a bit of an experiment. It's just not for me. I've well, never Lucy- experimented. That's all right. There's still time. You're only 26. No, vaginas scare me. Yeah, they are a bit scary. I've snogged a good handful of girls. 
I thought you were going to say I've snugged a handful of <laughs> vaginas. <laughs> I was like, well, that's an experience you didn't tell me about. No, 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 no. Um, I've snugged a handful of girls and I had one girl that was like, go on, just try it. And I was like, ah, no, I literally what? was like, I was, yeah, no. Yeah. She went to do it to me and I went, no, 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 no. I was like, get off me. I was like, not having fun. Then she's like, try it for me. And I was like, no, I'm all right. I think I'd, I'd really let okay. someone do it to me, but me do it to them. I'd be no, like, no. I was weirded out. What about weird crushes for you? So I think my main one, which people are now coming round to, is Barry Keoghan. I don't think that... I've never thought that that's weird. A lot of people do. I don't understand why. He's an attractive man. He is an attractive man. He's got gorgeous blue eyes. He's, he's, he's Irish. And he's... Beautiful. Yeah, he's got big arms. He's beautiful. Got a good shoulder. And got a, oh, we love a good love shoulder. Love a good shoulder. <laughs> but I've had a crush on him. Like, he's been my celeb crush for a good four or five years. Yeah. You've, had, you've got weirder. Have I? Yeah, you do. Pete Davidson. That's, that's it. a weird That's crush. a weird one. Very weird. He's got big dick energy though, apparently. Apparently he's got a big dick. That's why he's got the big dick energy. Hell yeah. Because he's got... Fuck it now. So our first question to the listener is, your green card. So you're with somebody and... You you and your partner have a conversation of, if this person turns up and says, will you marry me? It's an immediate yes. No questions asked. Mm-hmm. I have three because <laughs> I'm I... greedy. I'll let week. you know next week. Yeah. Um, My my Bruno's is um Hayley Williams. Understandable. So that's the first question. Who's your green card? Yep. And then the second question was, would you rather get stood up on a date or your date turn up and you've been catfished. Ooh. Because I've got a catfishing story. You do. For next week. Yep. And we leave you with that. <laughs> <laughs> we leave you with that. With that. Thank you for listening to the pod. Yeah. That's thanks, it. guys. Please give us feedback on the mic situation. Yeah. Let us know what you think because... We had a really, really good reaction to the podcast last week and people were like, even though you didn't have mics, it still sounded really good. Yeah. So we're hoping that this just brings a little bit more edge to the podcast. Bit of edge to it. Look out for a release every Friday. Every Friday. Every Friday. Follow the Instagram. Follow the TikTok. Follow the Twitter. Follow the YouTube. And email us. We have an email. Love I said, said it, it wrong. wrong. <laughs> I am so sorry. If anyone has tried emailing us... I said the email wrong in the podcast. The email is podcast.thehoefaze at gmail.com. Everything will be in the description below. Like, subscribe, press the bell button so you never ever miss a video or an episode. And if you're on Spotify, give us a follow. And can you leave ratings, reviews on Spotify? I'm not a Spotify girly, sorry. She's an Apple Music girly, I'm a Spotify girly. Give us a five-star rating if you enjoyed it. We will see you next week. Have a great week. Have a great week, guys. Slay the day away. Always. Here's to the whole phase. Here's to the whole phase. Okay, bye. Love you, bye. Mwah.